Hello, this is Aish Jushi and you are watching me today with this current of a topic that is why make just 1.6% cooperative bank safe. Let's talk about this topic, why we are taking it. Union cabinet has approved an amendment to the Banking Regulation Act to bring cooperative banks under the watch of the Reserve Bank of India to prevent a repeat of Punjab and Maharashtra cooperative bank that is PMC bank like crisis. Okay, let's uh, take a view. What is PMC Bank crisis? Basically, PMC is a multi-state scheduled urban cooperative bank with operations in Maharashtra, Delhi, Karnataka, Goa, Gujarat, Andhra and Madhya Pradesh. So recently, the virtual collapse of PMC Bank following grave financial irregularities has left thousands of depositors in distress. Basically, the bank which had Rs 11,617 crore in deposits as on March 19, March 31, 2019 had violated RBI norms to lend heavily to one client real estate firm that is Housing Development and Infrastructure Limited, HDIL, which itself is facing bankruptcy proceedings. RBI has imposed lending restrictions on PMCB at Rs 10,000 per customer for six months, creating panic among depositors. So uh, to avoid these type of crises, PMC bank-like crises, Union Cabinet has approved an amendment to the Banking Regulation Act so that cooperative banks On it. Uh, once the amendment is cleared by Parliament, cooperative banks would be audited accordingly to RBI norms and appointments of CEOs would require prior approval for the central bank. The RBI will also have the right to supersede the management of a cooperative bank in case of governance failure. Cooperative banks are currently under the con dual control of the Registrar of Cooperative Societies and RBI. The former will continue to play its administrative role after the amendment. So let's have a mood, uh, move that why we need it. Urban cooperative banks reported nearly 1000 cases of fraud for mo more than Rs 220 crores in the last five years. That is such a huge amount, according to RBI. In 2018 and 19 alone, 181 fraud cases involving Rs 127.7 crore were noticed during 2018-19. The RBI had in September superseded the board of PMC Bank following reports of financial irregularities and fraud. So the question is, the proper the proposed amendments, however, will apply to only urban cooperative banks and multi-state cooperative banks and not the rural cooperatives. So while there are just over 1,540 cooperative banks with a depositor based on 8.60 crores and the total savings of about Rs 5 lakh crores, they are just a small chunk of total number of cooperative banks in India. So, according to RBI data, while there are 1,544 urban cooperative banks as on March 31st, okay, the uh, number of rural cooperative banks is way higher at 96,248 accounting for 65% of the total assets of cooperatives. Experts say that the problem of governance and chance of fraud are also much higher in these smaller cooperative banks as many of these are run by local politicians. So thanks for watching this.